It's a new season, a new day, a season of settlement. God is advancing His kingdom through transformation, restoration, inspiration, and assurance of hope through faith. We invite you to be a part of this new season. So join us for our weekly services every Wednesday for Word on Wednesday Bible Study at 6.30 p.m., Sunday for Empowerment Worship Service at 10.30 a.m., and Prayer Vigil every last Friday at 10 p.m. We can't wait for you to experience God through faith. This is your season of settlement. We are in full expectation that God will establish and settle you in this season. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Bless us, O God, through your word. The Bible says, and the entrance of your word giveth light. And therefore, we pray for that light. We pray for that understanding. Lord, bless us that we will not go here the same. That your word, O God, will be lifted above. We give you all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Since the man of God has preached the word, I am just going to add a little and we'll be out of here. This morning, because we are in the month of visibility, I'm preaching on what I entitled, The Power of Making the Invisible Visible. Someone said, The Power of Making the Invisible Visible. Hallelujah. So when they say something is visible or the visibility, it talks about the condition of being visible. Hallelujah. The clarity of vision. The clarity of vision. Relative of seeing above and beyond. Hallelujah. So some of you can, can just be around and some things will be happening. You don't actually know the cause of the thing that is happening. But God will give you power to identify them. Can I hear a, loud, a louder amen? So the reason for this subject is reclaiming your dominion, reclaiming your dominion power by faith to rule in the invisible world. Reclaiming your dominion power. Everybody has been given power as a child of God. Amen. To rule the invisible world. And so therefore we have to know it is not just ruling. There are certain hidden things that we are not aware of. There are things that are happening in our life. You just think it's just a normal thing that is happening. It is not just a normal thing. There are things that happen behind the scene. And God wanted to be aware of it. Amen. Now, everything visible and physical is controlled and derived from that which is invisible and spiritual. Everything which is what? Visible and physical is controlled from the spiritual. Whatever happens in the spiritual realms manifests in the physical realm. And so for us, we have to understand why certain things are happening and you can't just be there and just say, you know what, I'm not going to do anything like the man of God said. You have to fight it. You have to pray for it. You have to ask the Holy Spirit to give you the faith to overcome. And you are overcoming in the name of Jesus. Just a, can I hear a louder amen? If you want to fix the visible and the physical problems you are experiencing in your life, you have to address the spiritual or the invisible issues behind them. If you want to actually, actually fix the visible and the physical things that are happening or experiencing in your life, you must be able to address 
the spiritual and invisible issues behind them. For instance, sometimes you might work and after working and once you are about to receive your salary or two days or three days before your salary comes, something else will appear. And anytime you take a look at that, it happens all the time. That why is it that anytime, you know, good things are in my hands and I'm about to enjoy it and some things will just come your way and you begin to spend money, you begin to just waste time anywhere, there is a force behind it. And to this morning, God will give you the upper hand in the name of Jesus. Why? Because if you don't address the spiritual and invisible, then you will not, you will not have, uh, you will not be able to address the divine prosecutor. Are you hearing me? From which to solve the tangible manifest things in your life. It means that if you are not able to address the spiritual thing, like I can tell you right now, like the man of God said this morning, and I just laughed, we related to each other. You know, he said that some people look at you and say, this music you want to do, where is it going to take you? You know, what is going to happen to you? You know, this music cannot take you anywhere. I have had people who spoke to me and look into my face and to tell me lazy people are always pastors. Pastors are lazy people. It's because they don't have any work to do that's why they do that as soon as the person said that you know I reverse it in the name of Jesus I say thou shall not speak a negative word because any word you speak from the inside you must control it amen so thereby you have to understand that some things happen in your life they are not happening because you have done something wrong they are not happening because somebody else has no there is a force behind it and those force must surrender today uh, can I say those force must surrender today in the name of Jesus. Satan wants to get you to skip the divine perspective. He wants you to get you to skip what? The divine perspective. So that you can be wandering around. You don't know what is happening. Every time you pray, every time you rise up, you see that things are not working. But God will fight for you. I said the Lord will fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will fight for you in Jesus name. Now there are two words here. The visible and the invisible. The world we see and the world we do not see. And the world we do not see as really exists as the world we do see. So when we are talking about the world, we do, the word that the whole world that we don't see is invisible. Are you hearing me? So the Bible talks about we do not wrestle against what? Flesh and blood. Okay, against what? Principalities and power. There are things that happen in the realm of the spirit we don't see. Are you hearing me? There are things happen we don't see. So the world we see now, what we are experiencing now, are visible to us. But there are things invisible to us that we don't know. We must search for all of them. Are you hearing me? Whatever it is that stops you from progressing, may the Lord rise you. May the Lord take you higher. May God open up your mouth. May God open up your ears, your eyes, so you will be able to possess them somebody is looking at you and looking at you from day one and just pray in their head you will fail if God cannot fail then you will never fail are you hearing me if God who brought you here cannot fail you will not fail that is why you have to be attentive you have to be very particular about the things in your environment you must have the spirit of discernment that whenever God is doing something, you have to discern. When you are around people who don't wish you good, you must discern. You, when you are around people who don't want you to progress, there is no need for you to have fellowship with them. You must find a class for yourself. Oh, I say, can I hear a louder amen? amen? You must find what? A class for yourself. Hallelujah. There are some people in the Bible that I want us to look at. We're going to look at Paul. We're going to look at Moses. We're going to look at some of the few ones in the Bible. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, reading from verse number 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, reading from verse number 13. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4, 13. The Bible says, we having the same spirit of faith. Somebody say faith. The same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore I have spoken. I want to say with me, say, I believe. Or you say like you mean, say, I believe. And therefore, I have spoken. Whatever you believe and whatever you have spoken shall come to pass in your life. Is somebody hearing me? 
And so the Bible says, we also believe and therefore we speak. Go ahead to verse number 18 for me. Verse number 18, that's where the emphasis is. The Bible says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen, the Bible says what? Well, are temporal. But the things which are not seen are what? Are eternal. I declare in the name of Jesus. You are looking at 2023 as a year that is coming by. But I see the grace of God upon your life. I see the glory of God upon your life. The things you are seeing right now. The Bible says what you see right now, they are temporal. The problem you are going through right now, they will never last. The issues you are facing right now, they will not be permanent. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the eternity and the glory of God awaiting you at the trial of every test. God is preparing you for a better glory. Can I hear a louder amen? So you have to understand that the power of making the invisible visible is in your hand. Number one, it takes faith. It takes faith to decode the things of the spirit. If you don't have faith, you don't know what God is saying. Now, when I sit down here and I look at you, I am not just looking at a church that started some years back. I am progressively looking at people who God is preparing for a next agenda. Your amens are not born again. Are you hearing me? So the thing that you are seeing right now, the problem, the economic crisis, joblessness and everything, they, they are temporal. God wants you to have faith to believe in him. God wanted to stand for him because he knows that with faith all things are possible. And so when you have the faith of God, you will be able to decode the things of the spirit. Are you hearing me? Somebody like he said, want a 10 bedroom, want a 7 bedroom, want a 6 bedroom. I don't know who is in the house. I don't know whether you think you can have it or not. But by faith I prophesied over your life. That your life will not be a standstill. That God will begin to turn something around for you. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? You must reclaim your dominion power through faith. You need faith. Hebrews chapter 1 verse number, Hebrews chapter 11 verse number 1. The Bible talks about the Hebrews 11 verse number. The Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Right now you are not seeing 2024. But you are in 2024. Am I prophesying to somebody? I'm speaking to somebody this morning. I'm talking to somebody this morning. You have worked. You have toiled. You have done so many things. And things are not working. God has a better place for you. And the better place is that the things that are in the realm of the spirit must be enforced by faith. That when the doctor says that it's not going to be well with you, you come back and say with all or with God, all things are possible. So you declare already before it happens for you. You need what is called faith to be able to get there. Listen to me, sometimes you wake up like he said, yes. How I was asking Brother Number yesterday, I said, you know what? When we finished night video here last Friday, everybody, we prayed and we prayed, we prayed, everybody left and went home and I walked outside I was alone there with a the security man and before I realized I turned my car on it refused to turn I said father in the next few months to come I need a brand new one devil you have come too late to turn the engine off because of what you have done I prophesied in the name of Jesus I'm switching gear if you don't say amen for me you're a suspect are you hearing me and so, after a little prayer, I took water out. I, I started it again. It, didn't, it would not start. And I took water out of the bottle, put it in the car key, dropped some water and spoke in tongues for some few minutes, shook the water off, put it back in the engine and started it. It came back to life. Are you hearing me? When the Holy Ghost is upon you, when the power of God is upon you, that bastard, the devil has no authority. They can intimidate you anytime, but you are more than a conqueror. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, they will not stop you where you are going. I said they will not stop you where you are going. As if it was not enough. I thought it was only the engine that would not start. Ah, before I realized the two front tires were flat. I said, I just came to pray for the people. What did I do? What wrong have I done? 
we just came to pray nicely. Everybody enjoy. We go. Now people have gone. They've left. I said, okay. Now I'm thinking in my head. My, my, my small girl was in the car, not feeling good. I was thinking in my head, what am I going to do? If it were to be somebody, you would say, ah, to live in this place, I'm calling 911. But there is a, 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 there is a power in heaven. And the power in heaven is a powerful power. And I declare, I said, no, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to call anybody. I said, you know what? It doesn't matter, devil. Since you decided to flatten my tire, I am going to ride on you that way. And so, no. So, I drove all the way from here. Drove all the way. Pata, poto, pata, poto, pata, poto, playing my own music. And I went to the gas station, put some air inside. It was 1 a.m. All the, the tire was filled. Then I took my car and I went home. I said, Holy Ghost, you got to take me to my house. I went home. I said, listen, what am I saying? In the realm of the spirit, something wants to stop you. So you must identify that you have faith inside of you. When you have faith, you can command mountains. But without faith, you cannot command mountains. And how are you able to make the invisible visible? You must possess a crazy faith. You must possess a faith that is beyond every faith. As you command those things which be not as though they were, it shall happen for you. Can I hear in the name of Jesus? Now, guess what happened? This is why the devil is a smart, very, 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 he thought he's smart, but he's not smart. Now, the next morning, I mean, on Monday, when I took the car, listen to me, when I took the car to the tire place to change my two tires, you won't believe it. They gave me one and a half hour. I sat there praying. And when the guy finished, when he came to me, you know what he did? You won't believe it. And that's why you have to be very careful. When you are not careful, the devil can lock you up. When the guy finished, he came to me. You know what he did? He did not ask for money. He did not ask for anything. He just gave me my car key. He said, sir, you are finished. You can go. Then I said, in my spirit, the Holy Spirit told me, no, something is not right here. I asked him, I said, I haven't paid yet. And he said, oh, thank you very much. I hope my boss did not say that. He did not hear that. I said, it's okay. Let me make the payment. Now, if I were somebody, you would have been jumping and be going. It's for free. The Lord has blessed for free. Then you have put somebody and the end up, you see. Do you see how the, 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 the devil operates? Now, when you know what is truth inside of the word of God, the enemy will stop you. You will progress. He will want to deceive you with many things. And you succumb to the lies of the enemy. And the moment you bow down to the lies of the enemy, you are trapped. Are you hearing me? So what you have been thinking that is for free, actually it was a mistake. But you have to get the Holy Ghost inside of you to know that without faith, that you cannot do it. Can I hear a louder amen? Please check this. There is a flashing on the camera. Please check it for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you hearing me? So you will understand that without faith, you will not be able to possess it. What am I talking about that? You have to understand that with you, when you have faith, you have power in God. God is able to hold you firm. So you have to believe and you have to know that the clarity of the vision is given you. You must have faith to be able to move forward. This month, I pray for you that may the faith of God arise in you. Your amens are not born again here. I said, may the faith of God arise in you by the power of the Holy Ghost. That what you are not able to do before, may you begin to do them. Somebody says, faith. The Bible says, now faith. The faith is not tomorrow. Your faith is now. If you must be able to make the invisible visible, you have to start operating in faith by now. You cannot postpone it tomorrow. Now, God does not delight in procrastination. I pray that anything that is that you are procrastinating about you want to do something this year you are delaying it or some people came to tell you oh we've tried it it's not working they don't have your dna inside of your body what you have inside of your body is your spirit because you have the spirit of god you will rise up and tell yourself i will arise and do what the lord has asked you to do you will not procrastinate procrastination is the thief of time I will do it, I will do it, you are not doing it. Upon every gray hair is growing on your hair. And you are still dying them and you are still procrastinating. I pray that God will give you the spirit of faith. That you will be able to conquer territories. Listen, you have been made a person of impact. Like he said, you have not been only made to be in Sacramento. You have been made to affect the world. Turn to somebody and say, the world is waiting for you. 
Say it again. Say the world is waiting for you. So rise up in the spirit of faith and begin to do what God has called you to do in the name of Jesus Christ. So you need that power. You need the power. Believing makes the invisible a reality. Someone say believing. Believing makes the invisible reality. If you don't believe it, it's not going to be real for you. When Pastor Carl is preaching and the man of God says next year by this time, I don't see you on that apartment anymore. I see you possessing your own house. You must believe it. I say you must believe it. When Pastor Carl tells you by the mercy and the grace of God, next year you will not be working for a company. You will become your own manager. You will become your own CEO. You will become your own director. You will become your own contractor. You must believe it. Believing makes the invisible a reality. The more you believe, the more reality you get. The more belief system you have, the more your faith begins to expand. Are you hearing me? I am telling you this, that when you believe in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, God knows that your belief system. Now, you must not be a person. Now, those who believe don't doubt. When I said the year is our year of settlement, you have to believe that no matter what happened, the Lord shall settle you. Are you hearing me? So when you believe it, it will become a reality in your life. And believing system is a talking system. It's a language system. Your language must begin to change. If you want to make the invisible visible, you must change your language. Are you hearing me? Uh, somebody asked you, how are you doing? We are hanging in there. You are not hanging. If you hang, you fall. Are you hearing me? They say, oh, pastor, it's an American term. We change it. Are you hearing me? So well, how are you doing? All is well with me. I am standing and all is well. If you say you are hanging, I know it is only monkeys that hangs. You see, have you seen monkeys hang before? Oh, do, let me tell you a story. When I used to be in high school, I was in a mission school, which is a boarding house. And we always will leave the premises and go to town. And this time around, I didn't know that my housemaster was just seated somewhere else, not far away from the boarding school. And so we took a route and we saw him. In school, I was the tallest. I log on springing. The slimmest one, tall, with the big eyes. The Lord has covered it a little bit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> and then he saw me from far away and he shouted my name. And I said, no, bam, I will disappear. And so I took a route. And the route I took was a route into the bush, like a cocoa farming, into the bush. And as I was standing waiting, I saw a ripe, a ripe banana under a cocoa tree. And I said, I got to pluck this. And I was see, it was very nice. So as I walked towards the banana, before I heard on my head, there was a knock with a greenish little cocoa that dropped on my head down. And when I lifted up my eyes, I saw the monkeys. And the monkeys was laughing. They was laughing at me. Because what I was going to get was his meal. He was literally hanging on the tree. The moment I ran away, it was as if it was a spring. He, that thing jumped from one end to another end. He grabbed the banana and jumped back. What I'm saying to you here, when anybody asks you, how are you doing? You can tell them, I am hanging. Your faith language must change. I understand the idiomatic expression about hanging. But you have to tell them, I am standing on the rock of Jesus. I am standing on the faith of Jesus. Even though it comes against me like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard for me. And I pray that you will not hang. I pray that you will not hang. May your language begin to change. 
Some of you, when they ask you, the moment your money is finished in your bank account, the moment things are not happening for you, you frown your face like a squeezed lemon. Instead of you being happy and tell yourself in Psalm 34 verse number 1, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth and my soul shall boast in him. Instead of you standing on the word of God, you are complaining. Those who want to make the invisible visible must change the dynamics of their language. You must speak a language of faith, not a language of defeat. Because God has made you a victor, but not a victim. So anybody who is planning in their head to see you, not to go higher, they are lying. Your testimony is coming. You will testify to the glory of God. Man of God, we are about to hear the marvelous things in this country. We are about to hear the greatest thing in your family. That it is you, God, it is you that God has planned to use, not anybody else. That is why you are the favorite of God. When somebody looks at you and the person says, you are not beautiful, they are not God who created you. The Lord created you and put something inside of you. So you must change your language. Learn to change your language. Learn to change your language every day. If you want to make the invisible visible, your language must be different. The Bible says, say unto be this mountain, be thou removed, and it shall be what? Done to you according to your faith. So your belief system has to change. When you look at yourself, you are a queen and you are a king. God has made you the pencil in his hand. Anything you are doing, God has a plan for it. I prophesy to any demon waiting to see your failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any witchcraft and any entity that is waiting to see you cry, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, they shall not succeed. I said they will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. So you have to what? Change your language. Your language will determine oh, where you are going. Can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear a powerful amen? Now, let's go to the Bible. Hebrew chapter 11, verse number 7. Look at what it says. Hebrew chapter 11, verse number 7. Look at it. By faith, Noah, be one of God, of things not seen as yet, move with what? Fear, and prepare an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he commanded that what? The world. And became what? The heir of what? The righteousness which is what? By faith. The Bible says by faith. By faith. The Bible says by faith. Noah being one of God of things not seen yet. So it means that when you have the faith of God, you can see beyond the imaginable. Is someone hearing me? I said you will see beyond the imaginable. The Bible says that he was moved with fear and prepared. Now listen to me. Whenever faith arises, there is preparation for your, for your life. You didn't hear me. When you don't have faith, the reason why you are preparing everything you are preparing and people don't understand is because of the faith inside of you. Now, your preparation will bring your performance. When you are not prepared, there will not be any performance for you. The devil is a liar. So his mother-in-law is a liar. God is preparing a stage for you. For the demonstration of his power in your life. Tomorrow will come and they will hear your voice. That it is the spirit of God using you. Can I hear a louder amen? So you have to be prepared. Noah prepared by faith. He prepared. He didn't know what was going to come. But he prepared. The more you prepare, the more performance God will bring your way. Can I hear a louder amen? Now, verse number 8, look at that. Another person, Abraham, verse number 8. Abraham, Hebrews 11, verse number 8. The Bible says, by faith, when he was called to go out into a place, which he should go out, he should, after, after receive of all an inheritance, he obeyed. Somebody say obedience. He obeyed and went out, not knowing whether he went. Abraham did not have a GPS. And the GPS were telling me, rerouting, you're going in the wrong direction. And so we are rerouting. No, Abraham did not have a GPS. Abraham had what is called faith. And it is the faith of the why? Because he obeyed God. If you want to change the invisible to the world, the visible, your obedience capacity has to be high. 
because the Lord would download the word inside of you. It will take your obedience to be able to operate on that word. Are you hearing me? So your obedience has to be very high. When God says, don't do this. When God says, do this for me, you got to do it for me. Are you hearing me? So your obedience will raise you higher. You must be obedient. Obedience is better than what? A sacrifice. So your obedience is very high. You must obey what the word of God says. You must obey what the man of God says. You must obey what the woman of God says. You must obey the spirit of God inside of you. If you want to make the invisible visible, there are some things that are threatening your life. There are delays in your life. There are fights upon your life. There are challenges upon your life. God has given you what is called power. Somebody say power. Somebody say power. The next thing that you have to have to make the invisible to invisible, you must have the power of God. Without power, you cannot operate. Acts chapter 1, verse number 8. The Bible talks about a scripture here. Acts chapter 1, verse number 8. The Bible says that, But ye shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you, you will receive, somebody say power. It is power that kills everything around you. The power of God will destroy everything around you. And I pray that you will be walking in, do you know some people, they are very good until they meet crowd. If I just pick somebody right now, I said, come and preach for five minutes. I, I bet you the person will be sweating. It's not because they cannot do. It's not because they don't have the ability to do. It's because they need that power inside of them that give it information. When you have that power, you are strengthened from the inner man. I never told the man of God he was going to give us class today. No. I just approached him, shook his hand. I said, man of God, anything God lays on your heart, share it with us. As a matter of fact, I even gave him a slight topic and he doubled it himself. Why? There is some power inside there. Listen, listen to me. If people are looking for material things, go for the power. Are you hearing me? When you have power, You'll be, have, you'll be standing at the commanding post when you have power. Anything you command must come to your point. Is somebody hearing me? Somebody say power. Say power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. You need to be under the, the, the trading of the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. You must open up your heart to the Holy Spirit. That's why I tell everybody, listen, People can do anything. They can say anything. I know where to tap into my power. It is the power of God. When the demons see that power upon you, they will flee. When somebody promises you and they will not do according to their word because of the power of God upon you, God will effect it. God will, God will work it out for you. So you need what is called power. Without power in the car engine, your car cannot start. Somebody say power. I know, I know sometimes delay comes in our way. Sometimes we, we are there and things are not working. No, people of God, go for the power of God. And how do you go for the power of God? It is through the word of God. The more you learn the word, the more active you become. The more you know the word. Listen to me, every other person in this house, God has given you power. And some of the situations in your life, you need to shout at them. Oh, you didn't hear what I said some of the situations in your life you see you are dancing to their pity party song without operating under power and when they come to you you must recognize there is a power inside of you are you hearing me so you must operate under that power every day of your life and the power comes from the word of god faith coming well by what by hearing and hearing the word of god the more you hear the word the more active you become Somebody say power. If anybody in your life is strengthening you, ah, go back to the inside. Go to the upper room and seek for the power of God. Go to the room and say, Lord, it is now time for me to pray. Now, the people that God wants to use in this generation are not people with logic. They are people with power. Are you hearing me? When you have the power of God inside of you, ideas begin to flow. 
No wonder you will appear into the next bank and tell them you need a $500,000 or $2 million and it shall be given unto you. Ah, uh, look at these people in this house. Uh, if, they give, if, if they give you $2 million right now, you run away. In fact, me and Pastor Patrick will be remaining here. We'll be sharing the grace. Ah, So in order to tap into that dimension of receiving, people of God, go for the power of God. Witches and wizards cannot contain the power of God. Witches and wizards cannot stand the power of God. The moment you declare that power, things begin to happen for you. Maybe you have a dream or you had a dream and the dream was negative. And now you are now seeing the physical part of the dream happening to you. I pray that God will grant you power. I pray that God will grant you the faith. In the name of Jesus. Maybe you are about to receive a good news and it diverted and stands somewhere else. It's not coming your way. I declare in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus mighty name. The Bible talks about Daniel in the book of Daniel on 10 or 9. It talks about Daniel pray. And when he prayed, as soon as he prayed, his answer was received. But the king of Persia had to take control over that prayer. It is an unseen force. So you are praying and praying. You say, Pastor, we've prayed and prayed. Listen, God wants you to be in the place. And God had to send in Jamaica, right, to go in there to fight. And say, release it. Because Daniel was not looking at it. But God was seen in the realm of the spirit. There are things you are not looking at now. But God knows them for you. And the Bible said the Lord shall order your steps. The steps of a righteous man. As you believe in the word of God. May God move away that block in your way. Your amens are not powerful. How many of you believe what I'm saying? Prayers you have prayed and prayed and prayed. The man of God said something today. No wonder he was asking me, he said, how do you do voting, you know, in this America or this Sacramento here? He was leading to something. That question bothered mama. Until this morning, he said, there will be governors from this house. I said, there will be commanding millionaires from this house. There will be physicians from this house. There will be engineers from this house. There will be contractors from this house. I see a, a, a move of, of, of contractors and blessings in the people in this house. And as he said it, oh God, we prophesied it, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? You have to believe it. Believe in yourself. Some of you, the moment somebody says something clear about you, something small about you, then you go to your bedroom and cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. Your eyeball become big. You go in there and put Vicks on top of it. You say, oh, 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 Lord help me. Oh, this one, Lord help me. All you need to say, all is well. And it is well. It is well because I know that's not who I am, but God has made me who I am. You have to believe it. Stop crying. The more you succumb to the devil, the more he comes to appeal to you and ask you if you are still alive. You are a man and a woman of faith. If you don't know and you don't believe in yourself, go to your house, get to your bedroom, get in your bathroom and look in front of the mirror. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully created. Listen to me, you are the head and not the tail. Listen to me, you are the winner and not the loser. Anybody who is in this situation, a time is going to come. I don't know whether you have a place to sleep. They might sack you from your house to go somewhere else. Pack your bag and say, Lord, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. You are not going anywhere. The man of God said, he said something, he said, that, that, that husband you have, there is a woman who is waiting that that husband is taking away from your hand. So what do you do? You cling and hold on it and wrap around it and fasten yourself around it. Take your belt, remove it, hang it to him. And just it to him. I said, we are together. Whether you like it or not, we are together. Are you hearing me? Yeah, you are mine. You are not nobody else. You are mine. Sometimes when you see the enemy around, change your language. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You know what I'm saying? 
you talk about that, let them know. Even the more you call it baby, the more painful they become to them. Are you hearing me? You allow yourself, you, you give tickets to people to laugh at you. If you can't do the, the if you cannot do the, for, the falsetto pronunciation, hi baby, you can do it like my brother, hi baby. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, God understand that one too. Are you hearing me? It's very important. Why do you give ticket to people when God has given you power? God has given you authority. You must refuse to walk with your head down. Learn how to walk with your shoulder up. What does that mean? It comes by faith and by boldness. In the name of Jesus. And God will do a miracle for you. In Jesus mighty name. Look at Hebrews chapter 11 verse number 27. Hebrews 11 27. Look at what it says. Hebrews 11 27 and I'll bring my... The Bible says by faith he forsook Egypt. Who? Who? Who is that person? Who forsook Egypt? Moses. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. He doesn't bother, he doesn't mind what the king will do to him. For he endured. Somebody say endured. Most of us, you don't know how to endure. Hey, in this computer world, any little thing that happens, say, I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. And now we have the element of AI. And when you Google AI, will speak to you. And tell you that which you are googling right now is as a result of stress. Bam. There is no stress worrying you. No migraine. I am the Lord that He left thee. Stop bothering yourself. Stop worrying yourself. The Bible says He endured as seeing Him who was Him who was is invisible. So he did not even give it, given by or given up, but he saw what is coming. He endured what you need in the presence of changing the invisible to visible is endurance. When you learn how to tarry there for the long time and say, you know what? I am not giving up. You must learn to shout. Someone say, hey. hey. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Someone say, hey. hey. Say, hey, 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 hey. You must learn to shout and tell the person, no, this is not what I sign up for. This is not what God says that I'm going to. The Bible said, eh, Moses forsook Egypt. He left Egypt. Some of us are still in Egypt. God has opened the door a long time for you to get to the promised land. But you are still in the past. You are still dwelling on what somebody has done to you nine years ago. You are still on that past history where somebody has messed you around and, and, and has kicked you around and have not helped you how your father was not there when you were born how your mother was not there when you were born how you didn't go to high school how they didn't take care of you listen the past is the past you got to leave the past and focus on the future if you really want to make the invisible visible with power in the presence of the Lord. A lot of people are giving up now. So people get married after after one year say, I quit. I can't be here anymore. I can't be bad anymore. I can't take it anymore. You didn't understand the contract before you enter. <laughs> when Pastor, Pastor Patrick is going to tell you, say I do. And even the way they say I do on that day. Me, Brother Dakusko, take the word and they say, I love the way they say it. They are, they are forgetting that it's not something just now. It's something for the future. It's a long journey. Listen, you need to think about before you get into it. Somebody hear me? You must have the faith to stand. Have the faith to stand. Don't quit. Don't run away. The devil come to intimidate you. He come to frustrate you. He will tell you you are nothing. He will tell you you cannot amount to anything. But God has made you whole. God has made you a standard. A year is coming, I will celebrate you. Your amens are not born again. I said a year is coming, I will celebrate you. A year is too far. Few months from down the line, you shall be celebrated. You know why? God knows what you are doing for him. Just keep in step with him. Don't give up. 
let your faith be in God let your faith be in Christ believe in the Lord Jesus Christ if you don't have the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior today is the day for you and to tell yourself enough is enough with the past I got to turn a new leaf and the moment you begin to do that the Holy Spirit begin to come in and God begin to change everything for you there will be redirection there will be refocusing God will give you repositioning God will change now you might lose some friends you might lose some friends it's painful oh how we used to hang around and down, down Sacramento you know when, oh no the time is going to come you have to stop it why because today this morning when I woke up the Lord gave me a word in my mind he said how could some people be saved for 9 years 10 years 15 years and still remain on the same standard something is not right something is not right you're going to change it and tell yourself God you have me in your power today I pray that you have the spirit of faith I pray that your believing system will become a reality I pray that faith will arise in you I pray that the power of God will locate you I pray that what you have not been able to do before there are people here who are looking for a job people who are looking for a place to rent you are looking for a place to go in you want God to give you a place I declare in the name of Jesus may the Lord come true for you I said may the Lord come true for you you have cried enough cried it is now about time to demonstrate your faith I said God stand for me shall we rise to our feet